amazing, beautiful people, and welcome back to another Taylor Swift Errors Tour Friday. Ah, oh, so many of you have been excited for this one. We've checked out a few performances from the Folklore Long Pond Studio Sessions. Um, I don't know how many, like two or three songs or something. Um, and I've absolutely loved those performances, and a lot of you have asked me to react to the full, like the full set, which we are definitely going to, don't worry. There's a lot of stuff that we can do for these Taylor Swift Fridays. These Taylor Swift Fridays, I'd like to do stuff that might be a bit less copyright friendly, like the documentary Miss Americana, is that what that one's called? And uh, maybe the folklore studio sessions as well, and that sort of stuff. We can do those videos on these Fridays. I think that's gonna be a lot of fun after we finish errors. But for now, I think we've got another one to check out. Make sure you guys like the video. Make sure you subscribe for more. If you're not subscribed, press that subscribe button, share the video, all that cool stuff. I know I'm gonna cry. I, cry, I think I've cried at every Folklore Studio session, so it's gonna be one of those reactions. Buckle up, get ready for an emotional ride, and let's jump into my first time ever reaction to Taylor Swift, Eras Tour, The Folklore Era. I'm not ready for this era. I'm just not ready for it. It's gonna kick my butt. I'm so doomed. Maybe I'll be all right. Maybe, maybe I'll be all right. Oh, the set is stunning. Don't show me the Swifties now! Don't do that right at the beginning! God, the set is stunning! I'm doing good, I'm on some new shit. Been saying yes and said no. I gotta say, by the way. I know it's a stage, but that still is the size of a house, right? And Taylor's just chilling on the roof? Are we just overlooking this? I don't see any harnesses or anything. Is she, is she... <laughs> Damn, Taylor! I thought I saw you at the bus stop. I did She looks amazing as well, doesn't she? I hit the ground I hit the Sunday matinee. You know the greatest films of all time were never made. I guess you never knew. That smile! Oh, it's tossing panties in the pool. And if my wishes came true, it would have been you. Anyone else feel like Taylor's lived an entire lifetime of love stories? Like, I feel like she has more stories than anyone I know related to, like, love tales. And it's, it's, she, she's not old. And she has, like, an entire lifetime's worth of experience and stories to tell. And she pours that into her music. And... I honestly cannot even compare it to anyone else. Anyone. It's incredible. In my defense, I have none. Her storytelling is, a, is never amazing. Even well enough alone. But it would have been fine. If you would have been one. God, even that light. Everything about this set is so cool. Look at this. I have a stream you're doing cool shit. Why was everyone cheering at that line? Did I miss something there? That was, uh, for me, that, I don't understand what happened there. We were making it count. You know the greatest loves of all time are over now. I love how happy the backup singers always are. They're like so into it. It's another day waking up alone. But we were something, don't you think so? Roaring twenties, tossing pennies in the pool. I 
love how everything changes for every era. Like the set changes, the dress changes, the microphone changes. You know, there's no one near her either. That's a freaking house that she was just chilling on the roof on. And there's no one near her. Like, what the hell, Taylor? <laughs> and so we have brought the folklore cabin to LA. A little voice voice break then was adorable. So, um, Folklore is an album that I'm extremely proud of, and, um, I started, uh, huh. Aww. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I no! Immediately no, was show me this me. album oh, taking place in the woods, Damn in it. an imaginary cabin, in my fantasy, in my imagination, I am not a lonely millennial woman covered in cat hair um, watching 700 hours of TV a day. In my imagination, I am like a, like a woodsy Victorian lady who is wandering through the forest holding like a candle stick holder thing <laughs> and like, you know, collecting feathers to make my own quill to write on parchment paper. It was a whole thing. That was, that was how I pictured myself when I was writing Folklore. And then I was like, you know, maybe, maybe I should do some other things different on this album. Maybe I should try creating characters and having these characters fall in love and break up. And One of my favorite um, characters that I created is, uh, I, I call it the teenage love triangle. Wait, I feel like I know this one that she's about to do. Um, I love this, by the way. I love this because I don't get enough of this sort of stuff when I do like live reactions and music reactions and that sort of stuff. And that is just Taylor talking and like getting to know her a bit more. And um, those are like the videos I really enjoy. It's a lot of fun because I want to learn more about her. So just her talking like this is something that I, I just really, really enjoy. Um, also, a random thing just popped into my head. I saw a, um, a a clip of Taylor performing with Lisa Kudrow, um, Smelly Cat, <laughs> on stage. <laughs> That's crazy. As a, I'm a huge fan of Friends, so I thought that was like that was really cool. Oh. The Catalyst character is this teenage boy named James. We've done a re and he really screws things up with the love of his life. I feel like I and he has to apologize to her and try to make it right. Mm. And long story short, her name is Betty. I love this song. Betty, I won't make assumptions about why you switched your homeroom, but I think it's because of me. Time I was riding on my skateboard when I passed your house. It's like I couldn't breathe. I love, I love the use of a harmonica in a song, by the way. I love it. I love it. It always reminds me of like Jack Frost or something. I love it. You heard the rumors from me, Nez. You can't believe a word she says most times. But this time it was true. The worst thing that I ever did. Was what I did to you. But if I just showed up at your party, would you have me? Would you want me? Would you tell me to go fuck myself and lead me to the garden? That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. We checked out the Betty Live version, and she it, she did she like tell me to go fuck myself. That was censored, right? That's the song, not the one that we checked out last time. That's the song. In the garden. Trust me, if I told you it was just a summer thing I'm only 17, I don't know anything But I know I miss you Betty, I know where it all went wrong Your favorite song was playing from the far 
side of the gym. I love, I love this set so much. I was nowhere to be found. I hate the crowds, you know that. Plus, I saw you dance with him. Oh, dear, is, is it Betty's fault? <laughs> you heard the rumors from Inez. You can't believe a word she says most times. But this time uh, this it was, was true. This is, this is after me, right? Who's she smiling at? <laughs> She's like singing with someone in the crowd. Did, so cute. Was what I did to you. What if I just showed up at your party? Would you have me? Would you want me? Would you tell me to go fuck myself? Or lead me to the garden? In the garden, would you trust me? If I told you it was just a summer thing. I'm only 17. I don't know anything. Look at her playing the guitar, move, dancing around, wearing this huge freaking smile. You have this incredible freaking set on a stage. Oh my word, folklore is a kick ass era. And it really feels like there is like a, a real like love and excitement that Taylor has to performing this album. Like her energy feels really different here. And she, this is like a giddy child. She's like just smiling and can't stop moving and just like so excited to perform this. Like I'm, I'm really getting that energy from her. Dream about what happens when you see my face again. The only thing I want to do is make it up to you. That line there, this is the last time that I can dream about what happens when you see my face again. That line, I'm guessing, is literally because it's about to happen. This is the last time they can fantasize about what happens because now they get the answer, right? Really subtly, like, really subtle line there, but I really like it. So I showed up at your party. What's happening now? Yeah, I showed up at your party. The way the energy she has on this era is so different. Yeah, I showed up. I love the relationship from the singers and the band. I love it. I love it, there's such a nice energy when they all perform together. Why is Taylor doing this pose? What's, what's she doing? What's she, <laughs> what's she, very confident Taylor we got here. What the hell is this? A freaking train? guy who looks like Poe Dameron <laughs> we've seen him before I love that everyone like 
everyone is just comes back out and everything like that. You know, every everyone everyone's a permanent member of this performance. I love that. The parties were tasteful, if a little loud. The doctor had told him to settle down. Really gives it that Broadway feel. That blue dress. There goes the last great American dynasty. Who knows if she never showed up or could have been? There goes the baddest woman this town has ever seen. Where'd the guy go? She had a marvelous time, ruining everything. Ruining everything. Was that a lie? <laughs> We've got like this story on the boat. So well synchronized as well. On car game bets with Dolly. And they said, Am I crazy? Didn't she go up the stairs with the Poe Dameron guy? Like the guy who looks like Poe Dameron from Star Wars? Did he vanish? I swear they both went up there, but only she came down. I can't see him up there. Where did he go? Am I crazy? There goes the last great American dynasty. I must be crazy. Who knows if she never showed up what could have been? You're like lying flat on the ground. There goes the most shameless woman this town has ever seen. She had a marvelous time. on this one she's gone for like that lower sort of like vibrating note and tone on this which just adds like a like a a jokey seriousness to this song it's, it's hard to explain but i really love her voice on this one who knows if i never showed up what could have been there goes the loudest woman this town has ever seen i had a mother this time Switch, the vocal switch then changed her voice completely. dress and the way she's acting and everything i feel like embodies folklore right it embodies what like these songs are about and 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 the sort of the romanticizing that she was putting on it that she mentioned at the beginning like she looks like like you can just imagine her like this sort of like big old school like um like manor house that's just surrounded by fields like like some sort of like um african savannah plains or something like that they've got this giant old school like wooden house and she just like opens up the, the the sort of doors and steps out onto the balcony and it's just this like warm hot morning air and she's wearing that dress and just looking out something like that that kind of energy and i feel like all the songs match that kind of warmness and excitement and it's it's just it's amazing 
how not only Taylor's energy that she puts on, but the smiles and the personality and the aura about her and the dress and the stage set, everything is so well crafted that it just becomes this like masterpiece. It's so well thought out. To a moment in time Cause it was never mine And I can see you twisting in bed She talking and slipped away Like a bottle of wine Cause you were never mine It really is amazing how quickly she can just adapt her voice, right? That she can just and changes her tone so flawlessly. That run, I love it. <laughs> Proper booty we princess run, I love it. One one thing I've noticed, and I've seen it like online a lot as well with like Taylor Swift clips, is um, when she looks at the crowd like that, she's not just looking at like everybody in the crowd. She's looking at one person. I've seen so many like people rec like footage of, of her just like locking eyes with random members of the crowd and just singing the songs with them. And she does that all the time. It's not like a generic look out to the crowd. Like she will pick a Swifty and sing the song with them. And I love that. Look at her, her, her smile on this one has melted my whole freaking soul. She has had a whole different aura around her. I don't know if you noticed that, but there was a Swifty in the crowd jumping up and down, like waving their arms. Taylor literally like locked eyes with them and they did this to her. She like did this big smile back. The smile and warmness of this performance of Taylor's energy has been incredible.
and doesn't feel like it. I want to pause the talk, but <laughs> I don't know if this is the end of an era. We got the... I can't it wasn't. <sighs> All right, fine, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> I was worried. <laughs> oh, my word. I've had like a hair tickling my ear for ages <laughs> throughout this whole thing. <laughs> I, l I just wanted to com comment on how when that song like changed and she went for like the final verse of it you literally saw her like take a breath change her whole demeanor her whole energy shift the change of the stage took place the lights darkened and everything just felt different amazing how like someone flicking a light switch when they walk in and out of a room taylor could just change the whole emotional feel of a performance Here we line up feels different now doesn't it just like that just like a light switch everything feels different the dancers coming out with the black dresses the lowered lights taylor's attitude even her hair everything just feels different and intense how does she do this we got the stars never knowing what they'll mean some to throw, some to make a diamond ring. You know I didn't want to have to haunt you, but what a ghostly scene. It really does feel like a Broadway. You were the same jewels that I gave you as you bury me.
the freaking the way that like all the dancers like join the formation as Taylor walks back and like like the choreo that's gone into just a walk and how good it a walk looks is insane. By the way, <laughs> it's insane. I don't know if I sound crazy pointing that out, but it like just that walk alone just looks so clean. <laughs> I also love how like the formation of all the of everything changes too. I think we're folklore's finishing guys. Well, I'll see you guys next week for 1989 <laughs> the year the amazing Taylor was born oh. <laughs> I loved that era I'm realizing just how how difficult it must be to pick a favorite one right and the comments are really funny because you guys seem to find it difficult to <laughs> the amount of contradictions I've seen in my comment section where all of you are like, oh, this is my favorite error. Ah, oh, no, that one's my favorite error. Mm, maybe this one. <laughs> Sounds like you guys are having a hard time picking just like I am. I don't think I could pick a favorite one because they all convey completely different emotions, feelings and styles that is impossible for me to pick a favorite one. Um, like, big time. Um, for example, if we look at the difference between Red, which, by the way, feelings-wise, felt like energetic and dancey and like this vibe, but emotional and lyrics-wise was devastating. But still, the energy was there. Whereas Folklore, for me, was a very good contrast of Taylor. And I mean that we had... The opening to Folklore seemed like one of the the happiest openings to an era that I've seen with Taylor. Like her smile felt, felt so genuine and real. And she had this like exuding energy of like just positiveness around her. And she just seemed to be absolutely in love with like performing Folklore. The first like 15 minutes, you could just see that on her face. That she was having an amazing time. Like, and she even did a... When she was talking about it, she even, like, her introduction to it, she even said, like, what it meant to her. And I really felt that in the performance. And I love how for the round off of Folklore, we literally had Taylor, like, literally turn off that light switch, go into dark Taylor mode, and then just have, like, it's, like, heavy last five minutes where she just decided to give us a bit of emotional brutality there. And then just slow everything down, make it all intense and weighted. And I feel like we had two different sides of a coin with Folklore. We had the the happy, energetic fun, and then that dark, brutal, emotional Taylor. And I feel like we really got that perfect contrast of her in this one era. And that's why I feel like it's impossible to pick a favorite one because every single one of them is different. I'm looking forward to watching 1989 though. I feel like this is gonna be fun too. <sighs> I love these Fridays, man, they are awesome. <laughs> they are a lot of fun. Oh man. Folklore, just the cabin opening and how cool it looked on stage. Like even with the mossy roof, Taylor just like perched upon it and then walking down, having everyone sit on the stairs and just having like this story unfold as she just walks down. Cause then once she leaves the cabin, you have these dancers come in, the train coming past. You had all of that. And then the walk through to the middle of the stage and everything. It was like so well constructed and organized that it feels like we are just listening to a giant story told in multiple different songs. And the performance of Betty might be a personal favorite. I, I really enjoy that song anyway. I feel like the performance was very good. An amazing era from Taylor on this one. Oh, they just keep getting better. Anyway, I'm gonna end the video there.
I really hope you all enjoyed this reaction. If you did, please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel for more. Put your comments down below and have an amazing weekend. Thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of it and spending it here with me. I really appreciate all of you. I really do. If you want to catch these reactions unblurred, obviously they have to be blurred for copyright reasons. Um, you can get them on Patreon, link in the description. Patreon's a dollar to two dollars a month. It's the lowest possible price I could set it on. Uh, it depends on what country you're from, but it can be as low as like a dollar and it, the highest it goes up to is two dollars uh, a month. But like I said, that's the lowest I can set it on. Anyway, have yourself an amazing weekend. Thank you very much for watching. See you guys in a week from 1989. And as always, my friends, you will see me.